Okay, on top 9.12.1 is out, and it's the best version of on top so far. Do you want to know why? One, two, three, four. Now, because this release of on top contains so many new features and capabilities, and it enables so many new use cases and workloads, things we didn't even thought it was possible, I'm going to break it down to different categories. How flexible ONTAP can be on the deployment and also accessing the data. And we have a new multi-protocol access here. It's also including how resilient and how highly available your data is. We have a category on security, new performance capability, both for on-premise and for the cloud, and really amazing new features and capabilities baked into the ONTAP OS around data protection. I'll cover all of that. And I'll also add an indication for each slide if it can run on-premise, in a hybrid environment, or just in the cloud. Okay, so let's start. And the first one is ONTAP S3, which can now run anywhere. And by that, you have an ONTAP S3 that can reach extreme performance, unlike S3 in general. And it's also the same API, same platform across any hybrid multi-cloud environment which can give you a really good baseline if you're not sure where to develop your application yet. You all know that ONTAP can provide multi-protocol access between NFS and SMB, and it completely handles the translation between the different security styles. Now it can also provide multi-protocol access between NFS and S3. And by doing that, you can ignore most of the challenges around refactoring an application from file base to an object. You can just Snap me all your data, for example, from on-premise to a cloud volumes on top cluster in the cloud, enable on top S3 on top of it, enable the multi-protocol conversion. And it's also a great enabler because it can allow you to run different data analytics tools and services designed for S3 object on your NFS volumes. And on top will do the translation without any need to any refactoring or any redesign. Remember the days you had to create a flex group in order to create a volume over 100 terabyte? Not anymore. You can now create FlexVol up to 300 terabyte and LANs up to 128 terabyte. If you're managing a Kubernetes environment, you will know it will create a huge amount of very small volumes, usually. To avoid any issues, we double the limitation and you can have, have up to 30k volumes in a single cluster. This is a big one for CVO in Azure. So until today, you can deploy an HA system using a shared page blob disks that uses LRS and availability set protection, which is great. And it can protect you from like 90 something percent of the cases, but sometimes you have an AZ failure. And because page blobs and storage account cannot be tied to a specific AZ, it causes an issue. So first, we change the page blobs into managed shared disks and improve the latency and the capacity availability. This is one. Second, we're adding a new deployment model. You can now have Cloud Volume Sontap HA deployed in Azure across multiple availability zones. And that's big. Until today, you couldn't control it and an AZ failure would fail your application, but now your application will be completely resilient across availability zones, both for the performance tier and both for the capacity tier. ONTAP Select is expanding to an HA. Try it out. By the way, another one for on-premise, SVM Migrate can now seamlessly move your SVMs in a single data center between clusters, non-disruptively, also between FAST and AFF system, and it also added support for SMB. On performance, everyone loves performance, even if they don't need it. Now, ONTAP has pretty unique performance capabilities on-premise for the cloud and for hybrid environment. So let's have a look. Flex Group is a great solution for a huge amount of data, a single namespace or a better CPU utilization for SMB shells. But sometimes it can create some imbalances and that can obviously affect your performance. So 9.12.1 is solving it with rebalancing across all the different members to make sure your performance tuning will be perfect. Just in case you didn't have enough, NVMe over the F word can now run on 12 node clusters with 
triple amount of capacity performance and up to 8K subsys per SVM. NVMe can also run in the public cloud on Cloud Volumes on tap if it's on AWS, Azure, or Google. Does it mean that we can say rest in peace iSCSI? CVO for Azure can now utilize VMs with local attached NVMe devices as flash cache, which basically means you have a huge amount of cache for any random read workloads like OLTP, for example, and you can get insane numbers with it and very low latency numbers. Try it out. And on that subject, for CVO, we increase the NVRAM device size, which means we can get more consistency points at the same time which means better throughput. And it's available across AWS, Azure, and Google. Enjoy. If you're using NFS version 4, you can now enjoy session trunking, which basically means you have multi-pass for NFS from different NICs to the same volume. Data protection, which is usually a very boring subject, but now ONTAP is making it very interesting with some core features and capabilities. And we'll start with a moment of silence for DP. We don't need you anymore, DP. We have XDP with the release of ONTAP 9.12.1, which will be released this month. Cloud Backup will support Flex Groups. That's awesome. Is Cloud Backup supporting Flex Group? You can actually start protecting petabyte scale. There is no incremental copies limit. There is no need to mount a huge amount of directories and protect all of that in parallel and stress the hell out of your environment and your clusters there is no need for a middleman to read the data and then send it to the to the destination cloud backup works on a block level and the technology is integrated into the on top os which means you can have a direct backup from on top directly to the object storage on a block level incrementally forever encrypted end to end and it will also preserve the efficiencies from the on top side and it will also run object compression before sending the data to the object storage. And by that, you finally have a good solution to protect flex groups, including all the backup bells and whistles like a catalog. So don't compromise on that huge amount of data because you all know Murphy. You need to protect your data and just a secondary copy isn't enough. You need to create a backup of that entire repository. With 9.12.1, you don't need to have secondary for Snaplock. You can actually do it on Snapshot, on your primary. That's awesome. And also, you can take that data and using Cloud Backup, protect it directly to an object storage of your choice, regardless if it's in the public cloud or in storage grid, and enable object logging and versioning, making sure your data will be always be locked, be safe, create a real cyber bunker for your data as the last resort against any ransomware attack. Some of our customers have a pretty extreme backup retention. Take mortgages as an example, they need to keep the data for 30 years. But no one wants to keep that data on premises for 30 years. Don't want to keep and protect and manage it in their data center. Now they have an amazing solution. You can take your FF data or fast data Protect it using Cloud Backup to Storage Grid, let's say for one year, and then enable tearing from that Storage Grid to the public cloud of their choice. And Cloud Backup and ONTAP will manage which object can be tiered and which one cannot to manage the backup consistency across the shorter retention and the longer retention like magic. Metro Cluster, which is a big hit, mostly in Germany and Israel, can now be protecting using Cloud Backup. And in the case of a failover and a disaster, Cloud Backup will automatically will pick up from the second disk. SMBC can now support Windows failover clusters. NDMP, why would you want to use NDMP? Use Cloud Backup. And QoS ceiling for sync protected volumes. SMBC and SnapMirror Synchronous. SnapMirror Synchronous, which is amazing, but also got some kind of a retro vibe to your seven month system. So when you're using a consistent group, you can now also add and remove volumes from that group. You can add tagging, and you can also include flex clones inside. And if you want to install 9.12.1 on your fast system or IFF system, these are the support system. Just a hint, the same like 9.11.1.
Okay, thank you for watching. And if you find it useful, you should definitely check out this video right here. And if you stay so far, please like and subscribe. Just help spread it to more audiences. Thank you. Have a good one. Peace.